um, a few weeks ago this top bar hive came in uh, the client wanted us to take a hive and put it in here which was going, was proving quite difficult we had a number of them come in we put them in and the bees would just leave so um, what we asked them to do is to take a couple of the frames and just put some a uh, little bit of a frame around the top bar of it so that we could properly secure some comb into the hive so that the bees would stay so we're here to check it's about four weeks later we're going to check how these bees are doing right let's get suited up okay so some of the advantages and disadvantages of a top bar hive um, these are commonly used up in Africa, in Tanzania and Kenya um, and the reason that it's used there more commonly is because it's a lot easier for people in the, um, in the rural areas there to make use of a hive like this. They don't need any specialized equipment or anything like that. However, um, it is very bulky. As you can see, it's a very large hive. It's very heavy. So if you're planning to move hives around, this is not the hive for you. Uh, if you're wanting to just have a hive in the bottom of your garden that's going to stay there forever, that's, um, that's definitely the one for you. Inside the hive, as you'll see in a few minutes, each uh, frame has not actually got a frame on it. It's just got a top bar that the bees build on. And uh, that means that you can't actually spin the comb in a spinner. You actually, if you're going to harvest any honey, you would cut the comb off and press it. So that way you are actually sacrificing that comb every time. Okay, so we've smoked this hive. Let's go in and have a look and see how they're doing. So this one was actually built by the client. So um, essentially what happens is the top bar creates a lid, essentially, for the inside of the hive. Here is a partition where you basically move this along to extend or shorten the half space okay so this bar here just simply slides backwards and forwards depending how wide you want to make it so we're going to start on the outer edge here there's not much happening here usually these do not actually have a frame we've specifically asked the client to put that frame in there um, if i show you the ones further back oh i see they've done it on all of them now so a standard top bar hive does not have this frame on it it actually just has the top section and usually with wax okay let's move further down and see how the bees are doing if you um, look inside here you can actually see it's based on the natural way that bees actually congregate together as you can see they would fill that space out quite nicely I pull this gently You can see there where the bees have started to build this new comb. So this is promising. It means that the bees are nicely established in this hive. Right, on to the next frame. Lovely. As you can see, the bees are building exactly to that shape. Most of this is nectar and honey, a bit of honey on top. So this would become quite heavy over time. And because there are no wires in here, if you were to tilt that, that honey could easily break off. There's certainly a nice amount of bees here. You can see wires here. We've actually put those in here just to give a bit of stability in this hive because the plan was always for this hive to be moved back to its owner. So we need to make sure that this comb isn't going to break off en route back to their farm. Okay, there are some fresh eggs there, which means the queen is laying. As you can see just over here. Lovely. Hive is nice and docile, building happily and merrily along. As you can see, sometimes because this bar is so wide, there's obviously going to be additional space for the bees to build. 
so they're going to make use of all space they can loads of eggs in there as well lovely good so i think we can be very happy this hive is um definitely well on its way and certainly ready to go back to their new home And some new comb being drawn out on this frame as well. Okay, let's put everything back together, ready for them to collect in the next few days. So as this hive grows, the owner will move the top, uh, the bars across, and simply shift this over. And that'll allow them more space. These are, whilst this is a novelty and quite a lot of people are building these and using them, um, I must be honest, it's not my favorite. And one of those reasons is that the frames don't always fit very flush. You can see here how these, no matter how you move them, they don't seem to sit quite straight. Um, and that is a worry because it's going to allow additional air in um, and, and also that way the bees can't, um, can't regulate the temperature so well. So, yeah. Right, so let's have a look at the differences between the top bar hive and the Langstroth. The Langstroth is very familiar to many of us beekeepers and what's amazing with the Langstroth is that all the frames and equipment with them is all interchangeable. Sadly with the top bar hive it's often custom made and that means that unfortunately the, the parts are not interchangeable. They stand up very high so when you're transporting them uh, try and find one that perhaps the legs come off so that you can have it nice and flat and stable when you're transporting the hive. Otherwise it's quite top heavy and can easily fall over. Um, another advantage to a Langstroth versus um, the top bar hive is that you're able to spin the frames. Which means your bees aren't having to re rebuild that wax every single time. So you're saving in the, in the amount of nectar that the bees are using for, for wax production. These uh, top bar hives are a wonderful novelty and they certainly look beautiful in your garden. But before purchasing one, just make sure of what it is that you're trying to achieve with your bees. Why don't you let us know why you prefer a top bar hive to a Langstroth hive. And then subscribe to our channel and give us a like. And uh, we'll be exploring a cement hive as well. So that you can see what the advantages and disadvantages are of that. To make a more informed decision. See you soon.